Hey fellow Star Citizens, Scrapchat here. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to install Voice Attack, a software that allows you to control a uh, Star Citizen with verbal commands. So as you can see, I'm on their website. Um, it's uh, voiceattack.com. And uh, right now we're on the home page and we're gonna go to download. And uh, you wanna click on this for those of you who don't know what this is, this is an old three and a half inch floppy disk that uh, we used to use back in like the 90s. I don't know why they use that for their download image, but whatever. So I'm going to click on that to cause the uh, download for the, this is also for Windows only, I'm afraid. I don't, I don't have a Mac, so I don't even know if they even support a Mac. I don't see a Mac downloader. So you're probably only gonna be able to run this on a on a Windows computer. So as you can see it's downloading. It's a 14 meg. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, there we go. It did take a little longer than I thought, but I think that's just my internet was a little slow today. 14 meg should not have taken that long. Anyway, so it's down here, so I'm just gonna click on it to get it started. And basically, we're just going to accept all the defaults. So I'm going to click Next. Uh, I accept. Next. I'm going to let it install on my uh, C drive. So Next. I do want to create a desktop shortcut. And I mean, I, I, would, I don't know why you wouldn't want a desktop shortcut. Because you need to start the application uh, before you, or not I say before you start, um, Star Citizen, but at some point you're going to need to have it running, so it's easier to pull it up through a shortcut. So I just create a shortcut. Next, and then install. And then we'll go ahead and launch Voice Attack. And when it comes up, hmm. I, uh, I had this previously installed, previously installed, so it must remember that I had it already installed. Because what it will normally, what it normally did for me was, it led me through um, a couple of uh, prompts to uh, train the uh, the voice recognition software on my in Windows for me. And it doesn't seem to want to be doing that now. Okay, so unfortunately, it remembered my previous installation. I was hoping after I uninstalled it, it would have forgotten everything, which it did not. So what's going to end up happening is you're going to actually pull up a slightly different screen where it's going to ask you to um, go through the voice recognition uh, section for your for your Windows computer. And it'll ask you to read sentences. And it got me through about half of the number of sentences it needed, and then it just stopped. I figured, okay, it figured out what it needed now and it was going to let me continue. So I just closed that out and I started using voice attack and it worked fine. So I didn't have a problem with that. So this is actually the main voice attack screen that you'll see running while you're using it. And it actually will show you a, like a log of all the different commands that you're saying that it might use. And you can do things like turn off. There we go. So now it doesn't hear anymore. It won't, it won't recognize or try to recognize anything. Um, and I could also turn off uh, the keyboard shortcuts if I want, um, or the mouse shortcuts and the gamepad shortcuts. Oh, what that's it. Oh, stop commands. Um, so that's pretty much it for the install. The uh, website itself has. Oh, and also on uh, the voice tag, people tell told me. Um, to actually install the demo and or the trial version and use that first. Don't uh, don't purchase it until you've actually tried to use it because it's, it did say that if there was a problem, there might be a problem with it working on your computer. So it's best to get the trial version, test it out, and if it does, then you just go over here to the purchase link and go through the purchase process. It's only ten dollars, um, and what they'll do is they'll send you an email with a uh, with the registration key and once you have the registration key then you can just go back in here and uh, I think it's under options 
Yeah, you can. Oh, no, not that. Uh, registration. You can actually go in here and you can click on there and register it. So, but uh, that's all there is to the installation. Um, there's also a support page here. The, there's a help document. It's a PDF file. It's about over 200 pages long. Um, I read through some of it. it you know, you can read it if you want, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making uh, just a host of uh, short videos, kind of like this install, where I'm going to show you how to make an individual command. Um, so you won't need to necessarily, specific, individual command specific to Star Citizen, so you won't need to read through that help documentation if you don't want to. And those should be coming out in the next week or two. So, But they have some other uh, support. Uh, they have, uh, looks like they have a user forum. Uh, you can email them questions, um, loss registration key recovery, that sort of thing. Um, they do have a little how-to section. Um, nothing specific to, to Star Citizen or anything like that. And most of it I didn't really see necessary for what we were going to be doing with it. But like I said, anyway, um, just watch for future videos from me. Probably the next week or two I'll have a couple out on how to do... Uh, individual commands like pulling up your Moby glass and and uh, uh, how to do a flight ready command and things like that so okay well thanks for watching and uh, have a great day